So, in front of the camera is uh, Driven's 2019 tow truck. Uh, this is from, so I got this at Target when it was kind of still new. And it's al it's been almost a year since I bought this. I got it December 7th, 2019, the day after my birthday. Because on my birthday, I got that van the little T1 camper van thingy, uh, and I had ordered something a week prior to my birthday, but it didn't arrive, so the next day, after my birthday, I went and bought this, so this was a little early birth, a little late birthday present, so that was a fun birthday, I got two trucks that year, the Mercedes-Benz, the red, the Mercedes-Benz, right there, not the man, not the red one next to the orange, the red, Next to the Peterbilt there. The first red one. That's the one I got for my birthday last year. So, I gotta say, this truck has so many moving parts, I can't even name all of them. It has... Basically, it's just like the real thing. Like, it has every moving part the real thing has. Like, it's got these cool little mirrors that can fold out. And what I love about these mirrors is that the mirror part is a little bit angled. So that the driver can see in the mirror, which is really creative. Sadly, you cannot seat figures in this vehicle, but that's quite all right. These are your buttons to control your sounds and your roof lights up top. A little bit of a fuel tank and some steps are provided on each side of the cab as well. An exhaust pipe on each side of the cab. Heavy duty rubber wheels. I'll show you what this is in a minute. I'll show you all the quirks and features of this awesome truck, but let's take a look at the blue car first. This was included. It's a blue car, a little sports car kind of thing. Nice headlights. I think they designed this car at some point and put lights in it, but... Yeah, there's kind of a fake battery cover there. I think at some point they put, like, lights and sounds in this car. Because there's a little speaker there. But there aren't any sounds or lights included in this car. That's because they're all in that. So, it's kind of hard to see, but these are the wipers. Right there, these little bump things. <clears throat> and man, does it ever roll good. It rolls really well. And the doors do open up. But I don't want to break anything, because I'm a bit picky about breaking toys, so I'm not going to do it. But the steering wheel can turn a fair amount. You got your little cup holders there and your little radio thing there and the gear shift seats. This is where the engine is, I assume, because of the little grills on the side. The gas cap there. And your taillights and the spoiler and uh, exhaust pipes. And there's a license plate that says driven. We're using a 1 and a 3 in place of letters. Nice mirrors. Nice windshield as well. Alright, enough with the car. Let's take a look at the truck. It came with this harness. It's a really nice harness indeed. This thing rotates, so you can rotate your car to get it onto the bed of the truck. Whichever direction you need to turn it, it will do it. It's got these little wheel locks, those are molded. This is one giant piece. It's not, I didn't snap anything together. So now with this truck, sorry, there's something on the camera. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. Because it's got built-in lights and sounds. And Bruder does not seem to uh, provide this. You gotta buy lights and sounds from Bruder separately, which is a big thumbs down for Bruder. The thumbs up for this toy is you get lights, sounds, many opening features for a really good price. So I already showed you the mirrors. Man, so if you want to change your batteries, you're probably going to think to yourself, where would I look for the batteries on a toy? And then you're probably going to flip it on its side to look for a battery compartment, and you're not going to see one. Well, like, uh, now this is uh, pretty creative, because in reality, you don't flip the car over to look for the batteries. 
That's because the batteries are under here. You gotta pull this hood cover back. And then that's where your battery compartment will be, right here. There's a screw, right there. Nicely thought out, whoever thought of that. It snaps in place too, there we go. Wipers, the front. I love this this uh, grill and headlight design, this is really nice. I love the headlights, this is a great design, this is way better than Bruder's. And then you get another mirror that folds out as well, and it's also angled. And you get the seats in there. And I'll show you what that red button on the steering wheel does. If you've seen my other videos about the driven trucks, you probably know what it does. Need another exhaust pipe. Now, let's get on to the arm or the crane part of the vehicle. So, <clears throat> it has lots of features. So this knob... You turn it left and it lifts it up, and you turn it right, it lowers it down. You got a knob on the side, and you turn the knob toward the cab. This way, it extends it a fair amount. If you twist it toward the uh, rear of the truck, it'll retract it. And once it's extended like this, you can go ahead and come in here and pull another section out to extend it longer. And it clicks in place because of this little bump. Push it back in. You twist it this way. Goes back in, and this rotates 360 degrees. Don't believe me? There you go. This is a good... And <clears throat> this little knob controls the bed. Controls the bed movements. So you gotta twist it left from this side. It'll make the bed go... It'll make the bed go backwards and come down. And then you just gently press on the back of the bed and it'll fold into a ramp. These are the wheel locks. That's what this knob controls. You twist the knob towards the cab and you'll lock your car. And to unload it, just twist it back and your car will roll right off the bed. So roll the bed up, twist the knob towards the cab. And there you go. It rolls right back into its original position. Locks right in place too. And then another special feature is this tow bar. You can pull it out a fair amount, and you can have an, a second vehicle. But this car fits inside of these two little wheel slots, so it can tow this car on the bed or behind the truck, which is really nice. So you can have two vehicles. So I have a Bruder Roadster over there. Let's see how well it does. This is not the same as Driven. It's a little bit higher quality. Look at that fits in there nicely. See, you can you can tow two cars on this truck, which is really nice. Let's see if it does well in the bed. Let's lock the wheels. Look at that, it locks it right in place. Yeah, these are about the same cars anyways. This one actually had an included roof. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, see if I can snap that back. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, now let's get on to the lights and sounds part. So, that's the f the button closest to the hood is going to be for your headlights and engine sound. The second button is for your reverse beep and your roof lights. So we'll let you hear that one first. And the engine sound. And you want to know where your speaker's located? It's located on the ceiling. See that little circle on the ceiling? That's the speaker. That little uh, cylinder thing on the ceiling, that's the speaker. In case you were wondering where it was. So, not a bad truck for what I paid. And Target does sell this currently, but it kind of depends on if you got to ask them to ship it to your store or if they don't have it in stock, so I highly recommend you call them ahead of time and ask them what you're looking for if it's in stock. That way you don't waste yourself a trip. 